Um, tell us a little bit about how you grew the business. Um, uh, you know, as a uh, how did you market it? What was your um, how did you get the word out? What was what was sort of the first um, audience that you tried to reach out to, and how did that go? So the first stage that uh, um, I wanted to hit was um, I wanted to make sure that coming from a non or a non serious real estate background the product is not a, a IT, a technology uh, whim. Many a times you go into the market uh, when you look at products, be it any vertical, be it, uh, be it healthcare, be it uh, uh, real estate, uh, be it a uh, finance product or any vertical, and you look at a technology product, very quickly you can determine if that product was actually created by a, a technology guy who absolutely had no background in that particular vertical. That's why we wanted to spend some significant time in, in uh, real estate folks evaluating, people that have a serious background actually using the software on the ground, not being beta testers, not being uh, opinion providers, but actually using the product on the background, which to us translates as people being able to do real estate deals using real acquisitions. That was the bottom line. And we we thought that the best fit that fits in that model uh, would be real estate uh, clubs. So we approached uh, some of the most prominent uh, real estate investment clubs in Houston um, and, and through them we started marketing our software through our application. And that strategy paid off. Um, A, our, our marketing cost was significantly less uh, versus if we were to pursue traditional marketing options. Um, B, it gave us a ready audience. We really didn't. We were not wasting our marketing dollars on a speculative uh, buyer. These were ready buyers for the right product, obviously. And C, it uh, allowed us to take their feedback on the ground feedback and really see where do we need to tune things so that these guys, these investors, actually do deals. So that's how the the operation, uh, the the first state st stage, got started. Um, and then uh, that's back in 2010. Now the model is completely different, and maybe the conversation goes in that direction. I'll tell you where, how we transitioned into a fully functional real estate investment brokerage, which we are now. 